Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today I want to run a little bit of an experiment in which I place a camera, a light, and a light bulb inside of a pressure chamber and pressurize to about 800 pounds per square inch. So I've got uh, CO2 here, which I'll be using for the pressurization, and uh, a little uh, pressure vessel that I made a few years ago, which I have tested with this uh, kind of thing many times. People love commenting on that. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to set this all up, turn the camera on, stick it in there, and pressurize, and see what happens. Okay. So I'm going to be sitting way... Oh, my main camera didn't record. Okay, pressure is now released. Raise the shield back up and uh, see how the camera did. All right, here we are. The light bulb is broken. See, it's uh, full of dust. That's kind of interesting. Our little LED light stayed on. See how the camera did. Hmm. So it'll give me a little flashing red light. So that tells me it might have killed it. That's interesting. It like blew out from the inside. A little stem exploded. Hi hey everyone, Future Cody here. So the camera that I'm holding, uh, like I mentioned, it stopped recording and the reason was the battery went dead and I didn't notice until after the uh, first experiment was done. The camera inside the chamber also stopped recording, but it only stopped recording once I started to release the pressure. And I'll insert some clips of that here. Uh, keep in mind that the light is red because of the color of the lighting I was using, and uh, the audio was incredibly loud. Um, I've turned it down by 20 decibels in my software, but just in case, you might want to pull your headphones out until you know how loud it is. So uh, here's the clips the camera recorded. So I know the footage wasn't very nice to look at, but I got a lot of information from it. Uh, one thing that I thought was fascinating to watch was as the pressure increased, it caused like a miraging effect as the, the carbon dioxide become denser and it started refracting the light around in funny ways. And also the, uh, the camera went very much out of focus. Uh, there's two things that I think could have caused that. Uh, one, of course, the obvious, the, the lens might have been being pushed in, you know, changing the focal length. Or alternatively, which I think might actually have happened, is the index of refraction of the atmosphere got so high that the lens basically stopped functioning as a lens. <laughs> so, I think that was interesting. And so I'm going to set it in for uh, round two. Uh, because the light bulb, if you can see this, the central post blew out. It blasted through the envelope there. And the reason is, is this uh, end here crumpled in. And there's a little, see this uh, little tube here, uh, when the metal outer part crushed inward, it put a lot of force right on that, and then caused that to shoot inward. It was about halfway full, so about 400 PSI, uh, the light bulb failed. But, now that I've removed this, let's see if it can survive any more pressure. I'm also going to be adding a small balloon and another uh, different type of light bulb. 
Okay, so here's the experiment string going into the pressure chamber. You can see I drew little faces on everything. <laughs> that was cute. Okay, so we're ready to begin the pressurization process. I'm going to be standing over a few feet away behind a wall. Uh, hopefully the camera doesn't stop recording this time. I'm in position, pressurizing in three, two, one. Okay, it's going in. I'm going to do it nice and slow. Oh, something exploded. Or imploded. That's pretty quick. So I guess the idea to remove the metal shroud didn't work. Okay, we're fully pressurized, but it didn't survive the full 800 psi. I've also noticed that I didn't hear two or two pops. So the one light bulb, it seems, might have survived. Okay, so. I don't want to go anywhere near this thing while it's pressurized, so I'm going to stay over here. I'm going to depressurize it from this end. So just undo this valve. Alright, so I've opened it up. Doesn't look good. Wow. There we go. The balloon is deflated. It must have got popped by a piece of glass. Looks like the light bulb completely imploded this time. There's the camera. Our light is no longer recording. Or our light is no longer on. Still function. Yeah, it just came off at some point. Uh, okay. This light bulb appears to have survived. Yeah, that's still intact. So that little light bulb handled 800 pounds per square inch pushing down on it. So, a uh, new theory the little metal bit here didn't have anything to do with the crushing of the glass. Uh, rather, it imploded after the glass broke. Yeah. Anyway, let's go look at this footage. So it looks to me like uh, during the last test, uh, when the light bulb imploded, the shock was enough to uh, rattle the light and probably disconnect the battery. So uh, the image went dark. All right, future Cody here again. So the little camera, which was just a cheap little thing I bought off eBay, uh, did actually survive the experiments. Uh, I did once again on the second test stop recording uh, during the depressurization step, but it still survives and still records. However, the camera is obviously uh, very damaged. However, I did get that camera fully expecting to destroy it. You know, I figured destroy the $20 camera rather than the $200 GoPro. Overall, I think I learned quite a bit from this experiment, and I will be applying this to another video uh, later on, which will hopefully be of a higher quality and more uh, easy to watch. <laughs> uh, so, hope you enjoyed this anyway. I'll see you next time.